Hello everybody and welcome to Killer Frequency. This is a game I've played before. If you are real AF, you've been here, you've seen me play this game before. The full game just got released. Uh, I'm excited. I really enjoyed the demo version that I played. We play as a radio talk show host with a serial killer on the loose. And a bunch of people are going to call in and ask for help. And we're going to see if we can help them and help them survive. If you want to watch this live and help me with games like this where we have to make decisions, life or death decisions, click the link in my description so you can say hi like the cuties underneath me. And it'll take you straight to my Twitch page where I stream this live every day. Um, but without talking too much, let's go ahead and jump into Killer Frequency. Okay. Whoa, look at this game. Movement, use WASP to move the camera. Okay. What's in here? Oh my God. This game is, you didn't do this before. Pick up objects. Can I throw them? Can I place them? Oh shit. Okay. Pick up an object. Place an object. Okay. Uh, F, drop objects. R to throw objects. Yes. Hey. Um, and then F to drop objects and swipe and then go between objects. Okay. Okay. Nice and simple. There we go. Oh, I could put it right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Okay. Which arm is better? Let's see if my, my left handed throw. Huh. Huh. What is happening? Is this the Hunger Games? Am I being summoned? Hello? Oh shit, it's a fuse box. What am I even doing right now? I'm just doing shit to do shit. Oh my god. I heard whistling. I thought I was getting summoned. Oh my god, they turned this into a real game. I'm actually so excited to see what's about to happen. Oh, it's just me. I'm, I got scared. It's just me, dude. It's just me. Chillax, dude. You can, only throw, you can only throw with your right hand, by the way. That's why we haven't been able to... Got it. Oh, there's the mug. Inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting. Ah, Resident Evil. Resident Evil, K fam. K fam. Okay. Is this where I work? They're giving us the whole rundown real quick. Nope. It's not like a fucking gunshot. Jeez. Crouch to begin crouching. Oh. Man, they're 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 letting me know. Cool. Let's keep going. What's in here? Opening door. I don't have open doors. Just clocking into my everyday shift at the uh, talk show radio. Why do clocks give such creepy vibe? What the fuck? Yo. Yo. Well, it's just my imagination. Good. I'm scared for no reason. Thought I saw a fucking. Yeah. Yo, why does he have such long, luscious hair? What the hell? I bet he spends more time on his hair than he does hunting down people. Oh, that was a good intro. Good intro. Good intro. Good intro. Yo, why is hair so long and luscious? You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails. Oh, cats. Dogs. Yeah, I know what a cat is. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway. You ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Kobe! No! Hold on! Kobe! No, 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 this is how I be in real life, though. Deadass is how I be in real life, like deadass. Um, like this. Yep, like that. Kobe! Is that even going in? I can't tell if I'm making that. Oh, I did! Alright, let's do these. Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ desk? 
Let's skip the checks this time. No, no, no. Dead air? I got an achievement for not doing anything. Let's do the checks. I want to learn what to do. Let's do the All checks. Right, fine. Let's get through Let's this. get through this. Let's do it. All righty. This is your captain speaking. No, really? Come on. Let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Yeah, something so Buckle boring. Up, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. This game looks so good. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Which one do I want to do? Let's listen to... Uh, the word smooth. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I'll put it on the record table. How you want me to put it down? The <gasps> record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Peggy, Pick shut up! up. Stop Pick mansplaining everything! Give me a second! Play. Peggy, Got chill. It. Yeah. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. All right, up next phone line buttons teach me how to your do it captain will be waiting to take your call on line one am i gonna answer someone's phone call line one how do i peggy now you don't want to mansplain it to me peggy line one is the leftmost button thank you for the mansplanation leftmost button boop all right peggy. thank you ready for you on line one who's peggy this is captain donald key calling call me don you get it yes don. yeah it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. The third one. Press it when you need my help during the show. Mm, hmm. Cool. Is there a Peggy mute button? Oh! It yet. Yo, now be nice on. to Peggy! The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster? Sound blaster. This. Sound blaster? Peggy! There we go. Oh. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Oh, that was Just a the volume oh, that was left. this. Okay. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Hmm. Okay. What's it doing? All right. Why don't I hear Seems it? Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Ah, uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. It's my fun side now, that gets me in let's trouble. Get the show me started. too, Forrest. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. What if I don't shut the music off, Peggy? Then what? Then what kind of life do we live here? Time to turn the music off. Yeah, time for you to shut your mouth. I'm keeping it on, Peggy. Let's see if she tells me again. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two... <laughs> 189.6. I'm so nervous. I've never been live in front of people before. This is so scary. This is so cool. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. Forrest, a little more pep in your we step, We need you buddy. to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. Uh. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that, that scream. scream. Yep. Uh, Peggy, what do you mean play the yeah, tape? Yeah, Peggy, what the fuck? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. 
Forrest, um, you do have the tape, right? What tape? You knew we were doing this tonight. What Peggy, tape? Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't <gasps> have the tape. He left it, it on purpose. It may be a stupid idea, but that he forgot it on purpose. Fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. I hate what I've become. Ah, uh, I won't do it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You want me to scream, you Peggy? You know the show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest. And I'm just humble. Do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Listen close. The perturbed Yeti scream, the falling from cliff scream, the drowning scream. Ooh, what do y'all think we should do? I'm feeling the falling from cliff scream. I think that's gonna be a good one. I think that's really gonna come from the from the from the chest. We're doing that one. We're doing that one. Yeti, the perturbed Yeti scream. I'm liking the fall from the cliff. Drowning, Yeti, Yeti, drowning, drowning, Yeti, 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 bada bing. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, that and wasn't if a you good get it right, scream. you could win that wasn't two tickets a good to the amazing forest. Maze Maze. What the hell was that for us? Fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. I work here, y'all. I work here. Pussy. Okay, like, I just wanted to shout something fucking inappropriate. Pussy. Okay, uh, should I introduce the song? It's too late now. The song's playing Big Dog. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The, the Word. Word. Oh, God, Forrest. That was amazing. Mm hmm. Thanks. Yep, I go live <laughs> I can't in front wait of people. To hear what people think that was. Oh, you're talking about the screen. How the hell did I get into this? I thought mess. you meant the fact that I pressed play correctly. Not, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. All right, let's turn it a little down. Actually, y'all ready for a new track? Uh, Forrest, oh, there's a mind. call coming in. Oh shit, a call. Let's, when uh... you're ready, shut the music off. <sighs> let's do it. Bang. Hello. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. What the? F Are you calling to guess that scream, Shorty? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? Mm -hmm. As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. Yeah. What? No. Look, I found a body, and I need your help. <laughs> me? 911 is calling me to report a body. 911 is calling me. Up. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Why is she calling me? I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. It's in my contract, Forrest, Peggy. I my really very humble contract. Okay then. Uh you should call the sheriff cuz that's not me. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff. It's Andrews probably his body. <laughs> whatever. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he what? tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? Is there anyone else at the station? Where are the other officers? I, I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Yeah. Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out tied up and locked in a holding cell. 
I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't oh be ridiculous. my god. We have three. <laughs> we have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, Aww. do you have any idea who could have done this? <gasps> Why do we only have three officers? I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. This is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. Why would you do, would you that? To do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. I feel like everyone can talk You're on the, the phone. only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like, like an what? Interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. Disrespectful. And besides, there are two of you. Haddonfield? You talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. What? I have an emergency. Okay, let's try it I out. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. This is a real it problem, It looks like Bill. whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Uh, try to break the door down, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? I was right. Why is she not using her brain? Why am I figuring this out? Check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... Yeah, no. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell key. This 911 What's operator up, doesn't do her job. Deputy. <laughs> do the keys work? <laughs> Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. so we far, saved so him. Good, I we suppose. saved him. Deputy Martinez How are you is feeling, safe Forrest? now. How am I feeling? I'm quitting K fam if this is a break. I think we can handle this. I can't handle this all night. I'm quitting if this is a prank. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You're leaving? We're on our own? What? Shorty, I, I don't know why she thinks we can do this. You mean we're going to be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else. We're responding, responding to all 911 calls for the calls. rest of the night? That's You'll crazy. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Okay. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? Oh my god, the no, Hunger Games killer. No way. This cat. Oh my Where god, the cat calling killer. Show? What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? 
open that mask? How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling the man. Whistling man. Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's. What the hell? Oh God. Do you think? Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. The whistling man is coming. I have to warn her! Lock Stay the door! Inside and lock the doors! Lock the doors! Right. Forrest, come on! You need to focus! Shit, we need a new plan! My car is torched! We need to think! Um, um, run for it! Hide in the station! Take a police cruiser! There should be police cruisers at the That's sheriff's That's gotta office, be right? it! Like, you should take one of those! Please! Yeah! Yeah, that could work! Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy. And oh my god, grab the keys, yes, not his stop. penis. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Yep. But yep. Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? I didn't think that far ahead. The whistling man is right there. I don't know. Grab a gun off of him. Yeah, take Sheriff Matthews' gun. Take Deputy Martinez's gun. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Yes. Let me grab it. Yes. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Is there a weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? Is there a weapon lockup? Lady! There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. No! Uh, shit! None of the keys work. Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Be careful, you're gonna find a different type of gun. You're gonna find a different type of pistol in there, I'm gonna tell you. Deputy Martinez right. was known for shooting. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can oh, you're searching Deputy Martinez. Carrying Deputy Martinez. What should I take? Uh, between the pepper spray, the taser, and the baton? I, I'd say the pepper spray, the taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser. That's gotta be the right answer. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Are we gonna kill this girl on the intro? Do you hear that? Oh no. No. Hear what? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. <laughs> that was so extra. She said exactly. There's nothing. She thinks she's a movie character. Uh, maybe the freak left? No. Can you still see the whistling? Be careful. Be careful. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <sighs> yep, there you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. I think we did good. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? I'm gonna see the killer in that you know, in that back area. Say, That's gonna scare really me. Really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Let's do it. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'll answer. Which I'm one? I'm putting the call through. Actually, I'm gonna play music instead. I don't Hello? wanna listen to her. Forrest, Peggy, this is Leslie. Are you there? Over. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, hello. Yes. Hello. Leslie. Hello. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Yes. We did. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus. God damn it! Get, get back. Get away from her. Oh. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. No. Get off her, you son of a bitch. Oh shit, do something! Ah, take that! Oh shoot! 
Uh, if you're not gonna shoot, I will. Shoot in. Okay, shit. Drive, drive. Leslie, drive. Drive. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. If you're not gonna shoot, I will. Shoot or shoot. Are you two okay? Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, Leslie, I oh, thought it was me. You. I thought I was the one who saved it. I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. That long? You better floor it. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I can't do this for that much longer. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll Good luck, as Leslie. As I can once I got the cavalry. Take care. Good luck out there. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Peggy, I like you. How about you? How about me and you go get some coffee later? Peggy's like, please, Forrest, right get here. to work. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, this okay. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. Peggy, I'm stressed. It's actually insane. I'm stressed. Did you say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Yo, no he's an old for, serial killer. No motive. He just did. Okay, what happened to him? Okay. Did he die? It sounded like what he died. Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and <sighs> jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. We'll do our best. So we're screwed. <laughs> so we're screwed, because it sounds like we're, we're screwed. screwed. We're not screwed. Things just aren't great right now. <sighs> At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35 listeners? 35. Isn't 3,500? Yeah. Huh. I didn't realize Gallagher No, as in 35 large. people, brother. No, 35 people. No. At best. At best, 35. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. Are, and what's the are our listeners children? Gallows Creek. I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand. Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people. Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. Thousand? 5,000 on the low end? That's so many. I don't dream of that. Five so million. Million? Million! Yeah, sometimes that's just the way We it went goes. from five million listeners to 35 people. To yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. 
Take it when you're ready. Oh, oh, yes. This is what okay, I've been waiting Forrest, for. Shut the music off. Yes, ma'am. Bada bing. Let's take this call. Uh, uh, hello. Welcome to 105.96 million The Scream. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16 The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh... Hello? hello? What the fuck? Hello? Boy, that breath is hot! Uh, what are you doing in my in my ear right now? I'm gonna do it back to his okay. ear. What's uh. your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. Bro thinks he's an anime villain. This is not real. He can't even whistle. Look at that weak ass whistle. Back from the dead to kill again. This is not the whistling. No one this is not the whistling man. This is the whimpering man. Hey, yo, you don't gotta to do this. Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to, to us. us. I, I mean, me! <laughs> you want cheese dusted pretzels? We want cheese dusted pretzels! Hey, yo! I mean, I, I want cheese, cheese dusted, dusted pretzels! <laughs> or I'll cut your face off! Goddamn kids! I'm cutting them off. Get this idiot out of here. Yeah, cut him off. No, not yet. I want to deal with them. Not yet. No. I want to deal let, with them. let me deal with this cheese dusted buffoon. We also want a mega goal. We also want a mega goal. Uh, you little shits. Okay, I'll do it. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega goal behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. See you soon, Boris Nash. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out no, to the gas station to buy kids. anything for these kids. Fuck them. None of you should be going out tonight either. Mm -hmm. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Yeah, this one's for all the thick ass fucking aunties out there too. Here you go. Bada bing. That's literally the one I played already. Sorry y'all, give me one second. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What the hell was that? Kids <laughs> pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. It's not at funny all. at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Damn it. Let's stay positive. It's gonna be we a stressful night. To do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Put him in. Oh, caller one. Let's do this. Let's stop the music and answer. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, oh, shit. I'm, I'm filling, filling in for the sheriff. Tonight. Yeah. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I told you the sheriff is dead. Just cause an uproar in the community with the 35 people listening. Uh, the cops are coming. We'll keep everything cool, calm, collected. I don't want to get too crazy here. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Oh, shit. Where did she say she was? On a jazz run? She said she was jizzing, ja jazzing or something? What was she doing? Wait, fuck, lady. Hold on. Where are you now? A, j a jazz run? Bad night to go out for a run. Let's add a little humor to it while she's out run for her life. I'm sorry, but you really picked a bad night to go out for a run. I know that now, baby. 
That's why I jazz ran back to my car. Stop jazz running. I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door, Lisa. I've got a place to hide, but oh my God. I can't get moving. Shit. Can you go back and find your key? Sounds like you lost him. I think he'll be fine. Is there any? Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. The whistling man. No. Oh shoot. Oh shit. Oh, he's back. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh, lady, you're so dead. You're so dead. You're so dead. Keys, and you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic, mechanic and, and savior. Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Uh, Sandra, for you. She's running for her life, and I'm over here making sure the vibes stay the same. Should I? Oh, doesn't the station I didn't introduce have a show the song. about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. What? Am I leaving my comfort comfort studio? Ah! So what do I gotta go do? She wants me to go look up like books, like car book mechanic shit. Is that the? Is that the ladies' room? What is the difference between the two beings that I see? One looks like a melted ice cream cone, and the other one looks like a, le a slightly less melted ice cream cone. <laughs> Hello? Wait, I want to check this out. Why did it just get so creepy? What? Jesus, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm not going to win this game. I'm so dead. So many locked doors, so, so few, few keys. keys. Damn. There's a lot of shit. Damn. Turn off. Let's go find this key. What the heck? Grilling spree ad? I don't need that. What the heck is this? Wait, how do I check out stuff again? I have to eat. Well, I can't read that. Can anybody read that? What the fuck? Love. Okay, I have no idea. It looks like my handwriting, to be honest. We gotta look for some keys. Oh, wait, well, you no, know, do it. Do it. Isn't it supposed to drink the coffee? Do it. Drink the coffee. Okay, I'll be back. Maybe it'll drink when I come back. Why is the ambiance so creepy all of a sudden? What's my objective right now? Find something that will help Sandra start her car without the keys. Okay, we need to look for like a mechanic's book. I don't know what. Well, I think we made it to the mechanic's desk. What the fudge is this? Mechanic on duty. What is the mechanic going to show us? Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Wait. Now this has to be important. Hold on a sec. Twins. I've borrowed your car. Theft? Question mark. Magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. I'm gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Oh, he took a poopy and left the book in the poopy section. Let's go back to the restrooms. Look at the vibes of the office. I need a key to get in there. Okay, we don't need to get in there yet. It was the first restroom. It was the first restroom. There we go. There we go. This looks useful. Yes, it does. Fix all cars from 1979 to 2000. Baby, we needed exactly this. How lucky. We just happened to find something that perfectly fits what we need. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I got something. I'll be able to help anyone. 
Is this her room? The door stinks shut all night? Yeah, but it's not me. Not getting in there tonight. Can I step in that? Okay. Um Let's go back. Sandra! Sandra, I found a I found a magazine. Alright. Place items in the tray to hold them while on calls. Here we go. All right, let's take the call. Hold on, Sandra. I'm back. You find anything? I did. Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Let's answer. Sandra. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Oh, oh, oh. First step use a screwdriver as a key. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... Stop calling me baby, Sandra. I'm going to take you out for real. Stop it. Uh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Uh, it's too fat to fit. If that doesn't work, remove the steering column cover. Uh, Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. Unscrew the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Oh my god, what's the serial number? Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. You think those screws are long? Did you say above average? There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up and oh god, my heart is pumping. Um, you're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Relax, Sandra. There's a red wire. A red wire. A blue wire. A, blue wire. a yellow wire. A, yellow a wire. green wire and what, a brown wire. Uh, check the serial number, then strip and twist the falling wires together. Uh, 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 strip. The, oh, what is the serial number on the steering column? Is the answer that we need. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Five seven six eight nine four three two zero. If there is a four before a three, and no seven in the number red and blue, there is a seven. Doesn't matter. If there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five, six anywhere and it does start with a five. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, zero at the end, three, the three isn't coming. The three isn't coming. Okay. Uh, red and yellow. Red strip. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Is she feeling it? Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Uh, you see a pink and purple wire? Now strip the purple wire. Wait. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wire. Uh, uh, strip the purple wire and twist onto the exposed cable. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, brush, brush, not twist, and twist, and brush, strip the purple, uh, uh. brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three, strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires, that's gotta be it, strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires, okay, okay, Auntie trying to do something. Uh, I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. I'm glad you're safe, Sandra, but please lay off the jazz. Sorry, Forrest. My life is my own, especially after that. I'm happy to be me. I'm happy for you too, Sandra. All right, you guys are just hey, two peas in a Forrest. pod. Just have fun with it. 
I don't think jazz should be that big of a part of anyone's personality. Hard agree. I'm just kidding. Just, just, Forrest, just kidding. Let people be. Let people be, Forrest. Let people be, Forrest. We saved her. We freaking saved her, baby. We did it, Forrest. Yes. We sure did. We did Here it. another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Yeah, I'm music. Should I introduce the song? Yes. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. I still can't believe this is happening. Me neither, but we're killing right. it though. I have to admit. Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Um, it's nothing personal. Peggy, be honest. This place sucks. Come on, Peg. Peggy, be honest. It's Come a dump. On. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Forest. Well, I like it here. People are polite and uh. Stab happy. Stab happy. Don't be awful, Forest. That was an awful Come joke. Come on, I apologize. Must be something I apologize. you like about this place. I apologize. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't notice the stink after a while. Okay, we're letting the hater tendencies pop out severely right now. Some folks have been okay. Let's relax on the haterness. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest? Yeah, now? I don't want to scream yeah, anymore, that'd Peggy. That'd probably be a good idea. For real. Oh shit. Oh shit. Was that the first day? Was that the first day? What was that? Or is it? Caller on line oh, it's one. later now. It's twelve forty-two. Mm, what do I do now, Peg? We just wait for another call. I guess we just wait. What's the next song I should play, y'all? The hang-ups? The hang-ups, let me go. That's what we're doing next. We have a call waiting. Come on, we gotta save everybody. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. Yes. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Sounds like an oh, ad. You did a really great Sounds like job. an ad, bro. And, uh, as a thanks for all you did there. I just want to Irish or Italian? I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Here at yes. Ponte yes. Pizza. Yes. Thank wow, you. Brian. That's really good of you. Yes. You really don't have to though. Oh. oh it's the least I can Pizza do. sounds pretty good right now. And if you like it, well you're in luck because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Yeah, that was pretty tasteless, I have to say. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise. I called it. I told y'all. I told y'all. No free advertisements here. Hang up the damn call. Oh, real quick. Before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. I have a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. I know where they are. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes. Yes, 
Do I know how to play a cassette? Yes, Peggy. Sure. Come on. American. Let's hear this American ad. Come down to America, where we got great burgers and hot dogs. I said I know how to play a cassette. Time to play a commercial. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure. Wow, this is an American ad. Gallows Creek. This is an American ad. Family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Oh, shit. Teddy this is political. Teddy Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. For real, grade, grade A, a asshole. asshole. Belinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. So he thinks he should uh, just be mayor? Of course. He's one, one of those guys. guys. For real. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day. Thinks he deserves he to be mayor. He doesn't. That. The glory days were in high school. Peaks in high school. Get back dude. to the show. Just like every other mayor. Get well, him out of here. Hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? <laughs> Yeah, Take a swing sure. at Teddy Gallows. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Yeah, where who are you voting for, brother? Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in down. This is the second guy we have to save. This is the second Wait. guy we have to save. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. You speak to me. What? God, another one? Uh, Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. I am 911. Uh, at least for tonight. So anyway. spill it. Damn what do you son. want? I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews, Sheriff is, Matthews dead. is dead. Dead? Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can cite you as an anonymous source. That's a concern. Slimy, greasy reporter. We're live on air. Just tell me what's happening. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break in? That's nothing to get worked up about. No. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. And this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't think it's a team. I don't think, I think it's the real whistling man. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. He's dead. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. All right, bro. It's a stupid kid then. Go walk up to him and say what's up. If it's a stupid it's kid. Funny. Not a big deal, old man. All right, Maurice, go hang out. They didn't live through the terror. 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Can you get out of there? Think you can take the whistling man? We're not asking if the old man can beat the crap out of the serial killer. Can you get out of there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. 
but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That's that where I come in. you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Hmm. We need to do something. But what? We have to brainstorm. Here is... We have to brainstorm. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? <gasps> In different rooms. What's the phone number for this for this place? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Oh my god, Peggy, you're a genius. And buy Maurice some time? And get an exclusive interview with it. And buy Maurice some time? Buy Maurice time. That could work. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. Yeah. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. We're not talking shit son about you, Maurice. Maurice. And I were, just we're trying to trying help to you. Out. I'm about to let this old man die. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Do you have any better that ideas? To be you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. He's gonna send us something. He's gonna fax us over the floor layout. And we're gonna have to call each phone to make the killer go to the phones. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Uh, Mr. Russell. Hopefully. I'm here. Oh, he's here. Never mind. Sorry, Mr. Russell. Be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Peggy. I gotta go check the fax machine. More to do? There's still more to do before I, I can leave? Is my fax machine in here? Oh. Hey! Go, Forrest! I clicked the fax machines in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Let me go. Let me go. Fax machines okay. on the other go side of the, the office. office. On the other, other end of the hall. End of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This must be it. There's something else I want to grab as well. This ad. Wait. I want to grab this ad for later. Just because it's secret and I want to play it. And we have to play ads, so I'm gonna put in ad machine. We do have the floor layout though this time, but not the extensions. So maybe the extensions are on the paper. We have to see right now. Let's put this cassette in. Well, don't play. Thank you. Okay. So well, can I? Might as well check it out. Can I? Oh, look at that for later. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Put this here. Let's take a look at it. Secret archives, editors exit, archives exit, exit? Is that what XT? Yeah, kitchen. Oh, that's not exit. That's, uh. What's the thing I'm looking for? What's the word they just said? For the phone numbers? The fucking thing? Extension, 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 extension. That's what it is. That's what it is. What do I look like? I was born in 1874. I don't know about extensions, guys. I just text a company, okay? Jesus Christ. Uh, Edward, uh, I mean, Russell, I mean, uh, big man. I'm back. Hey, did you get the fax? I got the fax. Uh, yes, I have it. I lost it. I have it. Yes, I have. I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Uh, yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him. Do we want to save this old Here's man who's being a dick? The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Office next door of the boardroom. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm okay. ready on my end, Forrest. Okay. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? We should call extension three because it's away from the staircase and uh, that's my best guess. I'm thinking call the editor's, call the editor's office. Please, please work. It's away from the exit. Call the editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Please. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. Okay. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Now you go to the kitchen. Can you make it to the kitchen? Or will he see you? Or can you hide by the cubicles? Go to the kitchen. 
On second thought, let's dial another room. Hold on. Where is he right now? He's in office space. He goes up to editors. We send him to kitchen. That's fine. That works. That works. I'm happy. I'm good with that. Go to the kitchen. Yes. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Um, good plan, Peggy. Well, it was my plan. Well, no, this was her plan. I just put into it. Good plan, Peggy. It was all Peggy's idea. Try yes. To go to her. Well, uh, I think we deserve some it. credit. The coast is clear. Some credit. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security I'll call cameras. When I get there. Okay. Why is this so nerve wracking? Do you think he'll make it okay? No. I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, fine. yes. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. No. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! oh. Call incoming. Oof. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Okay. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. No, you're not, old uh, man. Right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Can you find him? Maybe play dead? Can you lock him in a room? Let's not send the elderly person to fight the serial killer. Let's not send the elderly person to play possum. Let's lock him in a room. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret, secret archive? archive. Reggie would love that. I see that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now's not the time. Peggy, shh. Peg, no. <laughs> I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. No, Peggy. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. What's the plan? The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that. Only the outside. Only the outside. We gotta get him in. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. We got that son of a bitch. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Yes. So should I call the secret archive then? There's no phone can't. in there. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Yeah. Any ideas, Forrest? Hmm. I think I grab him by his penis. Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait? Use a radio. Use a radio? Use a radio. Let's use a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? I hope he's a 189.16 the screen fan. Shut up, is it still that in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend still distracted with his search i'll call you back once i've got the radio okay partner we're gonna save him forrest heck if this works we might even save the whole town let's make it happen don't get excited there's still a lot to do before we celebrate let's relax let's just see how it goes first 
What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that, and... Oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm there. Here. Is everything okay? I'm there, brother, I'm I there. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm Just about to come, I'm so excited. Make sure it's still got some juice. Uh, uh, he's about on that. Maurice, turn the volume down. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Maurice. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. You better, bitch. About to die. I can't have you die yet. The radio works. Kobe. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Okay. Fuck Hopkins. Wait. What do I do? Ah. God damn it! If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. We gotta get the killer out of editor's room. But wait! We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah! We have to sure. shut up, we have to shut up! So we have if we make any noise on accident we will we'll get him killed. Should we turn on the volume? Okay, no, no. no you confirm yet. that. 29.16, the best and only. 189.16, the scream. Gallows Creek's best and only phone-in talk show with me, Force Nash. And me, Peggy. And Peggy. Jesus Christ. I've got the radio on silent. But I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Yeah. Where should we send the killer? <sighs> Fuck, where should we send the killer to now? So we have to send him... Fuck, we have to... S He's in the editor's room and we need to go to the secret archives. So, and we're in the kitchen right now. So I think we send him over to, e to extension, exit four. Extension four, we send him to the boardroom. Uh, it's either archives or boardroom. Now, archives is really close to the secret archive, so he should be able to hear it. What happens if I say call the archives? What does she say then? I'm kind of scared. I want to hear her advice. What about the archives, Shorty? Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The I'm in the archives. Keep your head on, man, or he's going to cut off mine. Call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to I the I thought he was in the office, kitchen. I thought he was in the kitchen. I haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. I forgot he was in archives, to be honest. I thought he was still in kitchen. Oh, shit. He's going to the boardroom. Oh, my God. He's whistling over to the He's boardroom. On the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Oh, my God. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. We're not gonna make it through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Yeah, I'll say, come here, come here, little man. I'll call the killer a jackass. I'll give fake advice. I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak the slip. What a great plan this is! Uh, that was a great impression! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. That was a great Ooh, impression. Call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet. But, uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Oh. Uh, not really. No, don't make me choose There's between those two. Uh, that's where the killer's that's going. That's where the killer's going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Hmm. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? We can't send him where the killer is going. We just can't do that. Hide among the cubicles. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Under the desk, he said, he'll see. Hide in your cabinet, he said it'll take a second. 
Hide in the secret archive. He said the killer will be there. I'm going to say hide among the cubicles. We're just going to try it. We're going to full send it. Full send it to the cubicles. Hide among the cubicles. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast. We're going to kill him. 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 Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. A whistling man jacket. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Come on. Come on. Come on, go to the secret archives. Come on. And the old man's oh, by the cubicles. Son of a bitch! I was too slow, Forrest! I... Oh. Oh. Forrest, he's... He's... Out of print. Out of print. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. <sighs> we killed him. I think him. that would be for the best, Peggy. We killed him. <sighs> Folks... We'll be back soon. Kill if you Damn have it. any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next Are track. we moving on a bit fast? We're moving on a bit quick now. Oh my god, after this next track. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, we're gonna choose what's what's the thing for somebody that just died? Should we play stab in the twilight, knife and easy? Sure, that sounds like a beautiful thing to play for somebody that just got stabbed in the middle of the night. Let's do it. Yay. Play a record for us. If you're an old man and you get stabbed in the night. Oh, should I introduce It's this funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Well, if you're old and your name is, is Maurice and you night. got stabbed tonight. Oh, really? That was so I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're going to interview me. Are you sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. If she wants to know about us. What do you want to know? Maybe I like being a mystery. I do like it. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific too specific i do you have any siblings i don't i'm an only child and my folks are dead oh i'm sorry forrest that's uh, okay peggy that's how it goes you're sorry why did you do it <laughs> you're sorry why did you do it of course not i only i'm just messing with you anyway what about you any siblings your mom and pop still around I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh? What happened? Huh? What a coincidence. What happened there? Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been erect for a while. He's then been he erect for a while? Back, well, uh, why? Why has he been erect for a while? Mom didn't take it well. All right, that's not funny. Your poor father. That. She wanted to forget Dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Peggy. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. So he's not Don't erect call anymore. Me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I, I called her Peg earlier. She didn't like that. It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? Why you don't you want to sure go? go? No way. 
I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, Peggy, what are you doing? You're making me Peg. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Down to the first floor and then check the door. Did I just drop the key? All right, let's go see who's knocking on our building. Where's the staircase? Hello? Wow. Whoa, that whoa, was that was very hey. ominous. Tape. Oh, he slid a tape through the bottom. What the fuck? Play on air. Play me on air? Okay, bro gave us a tape. Should we? What's in here first before I go over there? I want to make sure we have everything. Oh, pictures of cats. Okay, staff? Need to keep. Okay, we'll go there later. Well, some uh, man in a, tr in a trench coat just walked past our uh, office. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the um, other man in a trench coat running around killing people. I'm sure it was just coincidence. So, uh, because of that, I will listen to the instructions on this tape because I'm sure that there is no um, malicious intent behind whatever is on this fucking tape. So let's just go ahead and play that. This just in, folks. We actually have a a, a little some some to play. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. No, that what wasn't. What the hell was that? That was kind of creepy. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Uh, chicken titties. Uh, be careful, Gallows Creek. Sorry about that ad. That uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. Should I? Oh shit. Oh shit, it's 104. Oh shit. If we're going to do another call. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We know it's we'll not him. Her from the Thank you so list. much, Mrs. Let's McKenzie. Go to break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Um, mm, um, mm, uh, mm. Uh -huh. Alright, what's song. up? What's I pushed up, a Peg? cassette under my door. Go play it. What? You got another cassette? There's still more to do. There's still more to do. This is not more to do. Thank you. Let me leave. And play me ASAP off air? What the fuck? Okay, then we will do that. Let's ejecto. Put this shit right there. Put this shit right here. Play it off the air though. Are we off air? We're off air right now. Okay. Or try your call again. Ugh. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this thing. I thought you were Gina. But Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. And Get it? Because she said Gina. I'll be frank. Forest Knight, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Gina, who the fuck? Oh, we're happy? Roddy Snatcher? Roddy... 
Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, we're old friends. Yeah. 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 Roddy and I are old stuff? friends. <gasps> I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe He's a big you didn't fan. he sent you his new single. Bruh. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at K-Fan aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Why does Gina want our song to play in front of 35 people so bad? By the way, four times paper ball baskets made from desk. I don't know who needs to see that because there's been some rumors spreading around the chat saying I haven't made a single one. It says four. And you know what, actually? If I miss this, 48 hour live stream starting right now. All right, double or nothing. If I make this, stream ends now. If I don't, 96 hour stream. All right, 187 million hour stream. Okay, I'm not getting off stream until I pass away. Okay, we're st we're staying on forever. We're staying on forever, guys. So what am I supposed to do now? Go downstairs to go... Oh, 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 wait, wait. They said to grab... Find the final breath record. Okay. Final breath record. Where would we even find that? It was mailed to me. Should we go back downstairs? Let's go back downstairs. I love the graphics on this game. Me too. It's like Borderland style, but like also like like they're nice, realistic looking. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. Not like realistic, but like, you know, it's good graphics. I agree. I agree. Okay, guys, we have to find where the shit was mailed to. And if we don't find it... Maybe that's where we start the next episode. Honestly, it seems like a good middle ground, too. But we'll see. We'll see what we do right now. Because I can't... The fudge? Whoa. Are we going to have to... Is one of the moments going to be like... We have to save someone in a maze running from the killer? That's going to be so cool. That's going to be so cool, dude. I want it. I'm keeping this thing in my hands. That's going to be... Lock. For now. For now. Let him know, Forrest. Thank you for the biddies. This must be it. Final breath. I found it! My tiny selection. What? Problems. What? I didn't even mean to... Okay, let's go. Okay, we're going to go play that right now. Final breath. Kind of scary. Finally. Uh, I'm gonna actually put this over here and I'm gonna put this maze right here because I just I just feel like it's gonna come in handy. Person. Okay, final breath. Let's play the record. Why won't it let me? Okay. Hey, did you get it? Yeah, I got, got it. it. Let's get this on the air. Let's play it on the air now. <laughs> Gallows Creek, I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Oh, yep, he is. Yep. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Yeah, for real. Ugh, we're good. We're good. Okay. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. You didn't even get to listen oh, to it, Peggy. Whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. And it's gonna be something serious. Okay, that's where we're gonna end it. If you guys 
if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, make sure to drop a sub. And you know what? If this video gets enough likes, maybe, you know, I'll record a part two. I don't know. If you guys want to see it, make sure to comment that. But thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.